Place, Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and we're at the Anaheim NAMM Show 2022. We're at the Earthboard booth with Kim and Mark, and we are going to be talking pedal boards here, Kim. So give us kind of a brief overview about what the Earthboard is and what you guys kind of invented here in terms of pedal power. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. So when we started talking about this pedal board and, and the hassles that go along with using a pedal board, we asked people what would they like to change if they had the chance to do so in a pedal board. And we heard things like, I am always having to look for a power source or an extension cord. I hate that sound of ripping Velcro. I can't rearrange my pedal board. Once I've got it set up, it's on lockdown because it'll take me half a day to redo it. Yeah. So we were thinking about all of these things and wanted to come up with something that solved those problems, made it easy to use, but was really flexible and gave the musician everything they needed to be able to experiment with their music and use the pedal board with ease. So it is a battery operated pedal board. This battery is sitting on the board by way of what we call a gravity boot. And no matter where I put it on the board, it powers the whole thing up. Oh, yeah. And the way that it does that is, this is a lithium ion battery, nine volt, and it draw, takes the power through the gravity boot circuitry and through these rare earth magnets. That's what helps it to sit on the board so it's super strong and it powers it up and ultimately makes this the daisy chain. So now the power is going through the positive and negative rails and it powers each battery along the way. So we were able to get rid of the extension cord to the wall, we were able to get rid of the, the daisy chain that connects your pedals. So you so, could just, now that has an on off switch I assume? Yep. Yes, the battery does, yep. yep. Well actually, so the battery stays on for a minute or two when you turn it off. Oh, okay. So if you want to turn off the board, you would just take it off you the board. Take it off. So you could just set down your board, pull that out, plop it on wherever you can find a space for it and, and yeah, you're good to go. This is truly portability right here. Right. Now you're walking out, you're setting it down. Sometimes he'll put the battery in his pocket, he'll oh. set that down, go like that, and there's that wow factor. So, so with a battery like that, obviously you gotta kinda be somewhat aware of milliamps as to how many milliamps each pedal takes. For a battery like that, how many milliamps could you uh, divvy up between a bunch of pedals? Well, that is a good question and a good point. Most batteries are 9 volts and maybe 200 to 250 milliamps. Yeah, actually, a, a normal, like, uh, how you doing? Uh, like a, a Boss style pedal will be like 25 to 50 milliamps. Okay. And then we'll talk high draw pedals in isolation at, at 1.2 because we're, we're capable of doing that. Yeah. Right, so we have this board here that has obviously higher current, higher voltage pedals. Uh, so does that just a, mean a bigger battery? Well, so before we had the bigger battery, Mark would use that setup with this. Fully charged, he never ran out of complete juice in a gig. It, it would always have a couple bars left. So we estimate it's like eight, 10 hours. But it, what'll happen with the higher draw pedals is the juice will go faster. It doesn't need more power, it just will drain faster. So we just tell everybody, think of it like your phone, you charge it before you leave the house, you charge it before a gig, and it will never let you down unless you're paying, playing Woodstock. <laughs> For all of you old people out there that know that. <laughs> so, but here's the, what's great too. Now for the first time, I can really move my pedals around without having to undo so many cables and cords. And so now you can experiment more with your sound, you can try different things. And because we have such great users, we have gotten a lot of cool ideas just since the last NAM 2020 that are built-ins and are there, that are new. For example, if you want to use a wah pedal but not to have it take up room on the board, you can use what we call a lifeline. And on either side, we have one, and it will draw power from the board into the wah pedal. So, and the other thing about having them on both sides, if you're left-footed or right-footed, those are the kind of the issues that come yeah, up yeah. with a pedal board that are right. kind of annoying. So you can do that. You can also take the, pe uh, the ma excuse me, battery off the board and plug it into the side instead if you want to have more real estate for another pedal. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. So that's another improvement that we made. We built in the cross board patch cable, which is that annoying cable underneath the board that connects your top and bottom rows. Oh, yeah. So it's built in and now your input and output are simply a short cable there and a short cable there. And you're good to go. 
so more plugs and cords and cables out of the way. Right, right. So it's portable, and last but not least, you can, you don't have to daisy chain your pedals, but you can daisy chain your boards. Oh, yeah. So you can use multiple boards like you see there too, but just. So these two boards are run all off this, this one battery here. Right, right. so we use the X, we call it the XL battery because it's essentially doubling the output. Okay. And then we connect it to this board here, and then through a, a wiring system, uh, that simple cable that Kim showed, we're connecting it to this board here. You asked a question about high draw pedals and voltage. We have the ability at the pedal using the trays, we call those gravity boots, to install a DC transformer chip. And we install those and it can go to 12 volts, 15 volts, 18 volts, or 24 volts. So this is a 12 volt pedal. It's got one of the, uh, the gravity boots under it that we call an ISO boot because one of the other things it does is it isolates the pedal. So you no longer need a power supply. These are all isolated on the amp and uh, it's dead silent. I turned it up to 12 all day long. You can hear a little bit of it in the background and uh, there's no issues with it. So these three pedals are isolated. These happen to be nine volt isolations. This is a 12 volt isolation. So we try to handle everything that a player has to deal with when he sets up his pedal board and uh, it just works fantastic. Yeah. All right, Kim, so if people are into this idea, where can they go to find more information about it? So our website, earthboardmusic.com, has a bunch of information, uh, videos, testimonials. Um, we have a YouTube channel, Earthboard Music, Facebook, Earthboard Music, um, and they can call us. Our phone number is 615 Six two four seven one seven nine. So, if somebody wants to get into this, is there like a starter kit you have that comes with the board and maybe some of these? That is such a great question. <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, we don't sell just a board; we sell it as a system. Yeah. This would be the double row board, and what you get is everything that you see here. So, you get the board. Of course, the lights and the crossboard patch are built in. Yep. You would get nine gravity boots and gravity boot tethers for nine pedals yep. and you'd get the battery and the battery charger and the battery connector so that's the system yep. we we provide that because most battery or pedals are nine volt but invariably someone's going to have a 12 volt or an 18 volt or need isolation so there's room to add three more pedals and you just buy that separately gotcha. we we every board is different and so we can't even have a setup that would even come close to fulfilling everybody's needs. You have to have room to customize. So this for the double row is nine setups and for the single row is five. And what are the prices on these? So we're running this sale here at NAM, 25% off. The large system is $423 and the small system is $310. And that gives you the power and everything to get going. All you add is your pedals and your patch cables. Yeah. I would add also, Jason, that we customize. This is a way for somebody who, who wants to customize their pedal board in their own way. We work with all of our customers. When we started this company, it was all about having a relationship with every customer. Every one of our representative artists is anybody who buys one of our boards. So we keep a huge database of pedals. We talk to our customers. We ask them for pictures of their rig. Maybe it's our version of a rig rundown. I don't know. But, but basically, that's what we're all about. I'm a fellow musician, so you know how that works. And that's, that's what we're all about. Somebody came by after seeing us yesterday, he had a little scratch paper and he'd drawn out his pedals and where they were located and said, okay, what exactly do I need to run this rig? Yeah, yeah. So we were able to help him get that together. All right. Well, Kim and Mark, thank you so much for hanging and telling us about your earth board. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar.